Now, garage, grime, road rap and drill. Yes, Dan's favourite kind of music, oh, but, they, <laughs> but then they're also <laughs> genres in black British music. Yeah, a new documentary series has just launched on My5, looking at its evolution over the last 35 years. Have a little look. When you're making jungle music, there's no rules. It's a feeling of like, this is us. This is what we are. This is jungle. Uh, yeah, well, that was a clip from the first episode on jungle music, which premiered last week. Earlier, we caught up with the programme's director and producer, Femi Oyanerin, and began by asking him how much he loved making the series. Um, I mean, this project means everything to me and my business partner, Nikki. We, um, it goes to the foundation, to the heart of the reason that we work together. And um, we really wanted to make something that reflected Black British music in its fullness for our whole career. I mean, we've made feature films. This is the first documentary we've ever done. And I think it's the most important work we're ever going to do because it's, it's almost like a time capsule for those to come after what the young people now and those to come after us to see the lineage of black british music in the past 35 years yes yeah, so where did the idea come from you know, we would have thought that maybe you'd want to do a documentary on, on film tv why, why black british music i mean for us black british music is probably the most potent art form to come from black british people The reason what we, me and my business partner work with each other is because of our love for music and it's because of, of our contribution in his, in his regard and, and my love of just the music that has come out of, of the black British rave and rap scene. Is this for the general music fan? Is it a nostalgia piece? Is it education? Is it history? Or is it a bit of everything? It's a bit of... It's everything you've just said. Everything you've just said. And also, it's just... It's just um, I think black British cultural contributions need to be properly documented, otherwise they'll be forgotten. So, Femi, you're in Jamaica, and this is the best background you could actually show us uh, <laughs> on your know, holiday. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I was going to do this, look. Oh, yeah, go on, Look, then. look at this, look. I was going to do this, right? That's what I'm talking no, about. You can't see me. <laughs> you can't <laughs> see me. <laughs> You okay. can't see me. And, and so, okay. so I gave you this. I gave you this, look. I gave you all of this. Fair enough. And it was just, look. <laughs> we accept that. Thank I you for the give slice you the of Jamaica. In the background. <laughs> I to give you, you know, this is not very Jamaica right now. Just a white background. But we're enjoying okay, it. Fine. You're excused. Thank you. Why do you think it's so important to look at not just black British music today, but from back in the day? Because actually, I was watching Top of the Pops were repeating some of their shows from the early 90s to the late 90s, and I was very disappointed at how much black British music was ignored, particularly in the, the early to mid 90s. You know, wh why do you think it's so important just to, just to talk about the influence it's had over the years? I mean, that's one thing we didn't do. We did not ignore all the black British music that was on top of the pops. We, we featured it all in the documentary. And so I think it was, I think that's the issue right there is that, you know, there's programs made all the time that, that sort of go to just the uh, sort of the pop element of what was created back in the day and completely ignored the black British contribution. And as you go through the episodes and you, you look at, you know, Jungle, Garage, Grime and others, do you, do you look at the crossover between those, those different genres and the various influences as well? Every five years, there's a new scene that bubbles out of the black British scene. There's a new music scene. And so what you, what you have is, you know, Jungle was going through problems and so Garage took over and then Garage then was pushed aside by Grime and, and then you, you have Funky House came in when grime was not really working. But what happens is all these scenes remain. And so the, the, jungle, the hardcore jungle lovers still, they will argue with you that, that that scene is still potent till today. And, and so all these scenes remain, but there's a, new ver there's a new addition, there's a new version that evolves out of the original scene every sort of four to five years. That's what we discovered whilst making this documentary.
Femi, I've got very nostalgic talking to you. Gosh, <laughs> jungle days when I was about 13, 14. Yeah, very nostalgic talking to you. Uh, good luck with everything. I'll be catching the next episodes of Garage and, and Grime Music. But yeah, good luck with everything. Thank you so much. And yeah, the show's on every Thursday.